Hi, this is Krista from Entimamida Amanda. As promised from my last tutorial, um, I have convinced my friend Catherine from Zambia, who is also from the Tumbuka tribe, she's going to teach us how to carry our baby in her way, the Zambian way. So without further ado, we're going to have Catherine. My name is Catherine and um, I'm Christelle's very good friend. As she mentioned in the previous video, I am here to show you guys how uh, Zambians or specifically Tumbukas in Zambia wear babies um, with these wraps. Now the wraps are commonly known as Chitengas in Zambia, however the ones that we use to wear babies from the Tumbuka tribe are called Mpapa. Hey ladies, welcome to Zambia. Now you can see this is a chitanga. We normally wear these to do some housework or you know just if you when you're relaxing at home, um, etc. So there's no particular style in which you can wear it, but normally this is how we wear it. So this is just to protect the clothes, but at the same time it's more comfortable to wear them like this. You can also see I'm wearing a head scarf, which you know you can also wear in whatever way you like. There's no particular uh, way of doing it. And without further ado, before I you know I go on and on and on because you know Tumbuka women are very beautiful and gracious and you know, we love to have fun and dance. Um, I will now show you how to wear the baby using the pop. All right, so this mpapa is mpapa simply because it's given to a woman who's just given birth by her family or her close relatives and friends simply to baby wear and not to use it for wearing for house chores. It's two different things. Okay, so it's also a two meters wrap, a two meters material, but it's specifically to wear the baby. That's why it's called the mpapa, but commonly known as a chitenge. So I will show you how I wear my baby. I've got a six months old baby girl, and because she's only six months, I need help to put her on my back. So as you can see, as I'm talking to you, I'm folding it at an angle, because normally you just fold it um, that way. But because she's a bit Tiny, I just decide to have that part folded so that I can have more material hanging out once I'm done. And then I just put the wrap around just about my uh, backside. And because she's such a tiny baby, I'll need help. So I'll get Christelle to come and help me and put her on the back. But normally if she were older, if she were a toddler, I would just pick her up and put her on my back myself. So the reason I've asked Christelle to help me bring my daughter is because um, she needs to be secured. And because she's tiny, uh, Christelle, may you please just check for me that her yes. head is not covered? Sure. One, ah. so one arm goes under, under the armpit, then the da, other one da, da, holds da, da, the material. Da, 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 you make sure she's secured. Da, 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 just under the bum and the legs are out. Da, da, da. You find da, da, da. a way of twisting the material so that all is related. For the purposes of this um, presentation, uh, I'll leave her little arm outside. Yep. So as you can see, I still haven't tied, but I, I can still be able to get up with her. Then you just tie a knot, okay, and you double it. So 
that is very secure, as secure as you can get. It's very, very comfortable. Um, I can get to do housework with her on my back like this. And also she'll feel um, free to maneuver or you know, to move her arms, her arms or her hands. And then um, if she gets uncomfortable with the back or if I need maybe to feed her, because most people are able to feed the baby while one like this, just bring her to the front. Okay, baby, you can bring her to the front and let's say she falls asleep, it's very easy to just tuck her arm, her arm in. And um, it doesn't matter where that ends up it all depends on how you tie it and that's about it that's how we wear babies in empapa in zambia thank you daddy oh don't mention it mm -hmm. that's how we we work we are siblings subscribe like subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, ways of carrying your baby and follow me on Facebook for more anti-money down under. Please don't forget to subscribe.